Hi everyone, welcome to the Dynamic Color Picker tutorial series. In this video, we will be focusing on color palette and we are going to explore various features and functionalities of the color palette widget. What makes my color palette system special is its ability to automatically generate harmonious color combination using various color theory principles. So let's get started. Let's create a new widget blueprint. From the color picker category you see over here, I will drag the color palette widget. So before we try to modify this, let's wrap it in a canvas panel because this makes it easier for me to manipulate the size. The canvas panel allows us to easily adjust the widget's dimensions. Okay, so the color palette offers three types of display mode, horizontal, vertical and grid. So this is the horizontal mode. Basically the palette colors are laid horizontally in this mode and you can also adjust the button padding from here. And now we have the vertical mode and here is the grid mode. For today's demonstration we will use the grid layout but keep in mind the horizontal and vertical modes are just different alignments and the underlying functionalities are going to be exactly the same. The most important task over here is to set the palette spec. This is an array and you can actually set up multiple types of color palettes within the same palette widget. So there are different types of palettes for each color spec. This is a standard palette with RGB color values. And this is the monochromatic palette and it has a base color. And you can see by changing the base color I am able to create the variations between the individual colors as well. Depending on the number of shades, the number of colors in this palette are going to change. I will again change the base color just to show you how the variations are working across multiple colors in this palette. By changing the block size, you can basically change the size of individual color elements in this palette. There are other types of palettes that you can explore further. They all depend on the base color. You can just change the base colors and the colors in the palette are also going to adjust accordingly depending on the palette type. And here is one of my favorite color palettes which is the skin tone. I specifically created this because I'm working on the character customization system and I needed to create variations of realistic human skin as well as skins for the fictional characters to choose from. And finally we have the custom palette type which unlocks the custom colors array and you can manually add all the individual colors that you are looking for. Let me add a new palette spec. We have the monochromatic color as the second palette spec. And the first palette spec comprises of the four custom colors as you can see. Okay, so let me make this a variable now. Now we can get access to this on color changed event. This is going to get triggered when we are selecting a particular color in runtime. Okay, so let's make another widget which is going to be the main widget that I want to directly add to the viewport. Let's add a canvas panel first here. And now I want to drag our color palette widget. I will make an actor blueprint. Here in the begin play, I am going to create our widget and add it to the viewport. Let's drag it in the level and see how this works. Okay, so I am having some issues with properly clicking on the widget because the mouse is taking the interaction directly from the game view. 
so i will get the player controller and i will set the input mode to game and ui and also i want to show the mouse cursor i still cannot see any click effect and that's because i have to set the outline thickness and color over here outline thickness also works as a padding for the individual color buttons because they are determining how thick your outlines are going to be and also you can set the color over here you can see how the padding is changing on changing the outline thickness yeah so now you can see that i am able to select the individual colors in the palette so let's say i want to select a color directly from the blueprints there are primarily three ways to do that one is calling this function select color where you have to pass the exact color value that you want to select including the alpha otherwise it will not work okay so we can see the corresponding color is already selected so now if we use this function select nearest color even if the color is not exactly matching it is going to select the nearest color out of that so in this case you don't have to worry about setting the exact same values and then we have the select color by index which is pretty straightforward you just pass the index and the corresponding color is going to get selected all right so that's it for this tutorial but we still have a lot more to cover in the dynamic color picker tutorial series so definitely check out the rest of the videos and i will see you in the next tutorial